WP Get. Get found. Real people, real solutions. Okay, today I'm going to demonstrate a problem that a lot of people have with copying and pasting uh, things from Word documents, from other websites, etc., uh, into their WordPress websites. Uh, I'm going to use Elementor Page Builder to demonstrate the issues and how we can get around this. So to demonstrate this, I've created a Word document from our privacy policy at WP Easy, and I've added these extra headings here, the uh, heading one, heading two, heading three. So you can see these are the styles in this particular Word document that we would get for heading one, two, and three. Uh, and then we've got some copy down here. Now, the website where going to put this on is this uh, test website here and the fonts for our headings these are heading ones two three is our body copy uh, the colors are quite different to what's in the document that we're going to copy from so I'm going to show you what happens when you just try and copy and paste straight into uh, a Elementor um, site so to do this I'm just going to edit this page Now there are a number of ways we can uh, we can do this. So an empty text box here. Uh, actually, I'll just delete that so I can show you what I mean by that. So I'm just going to delete that. We're going to stick a text editor element just in here. And we've just got some Laura Mipson text in there. We're going to put our content from this Word document into there. So I'm going to press Control A on a Windows computer. Control A to select all of this text. Then I'll right click and I'm going to copy all of that content. Go back to my Elementor page editor and what I'll see here is if I delete that and then right click, I don't get the correct options here. This paste here actually pastes the Elementor uh, elements. So I'll show you what that means. If I press paste here, see I don't get the copy that I was expecting. I get this unusual heading, etc. Uh, so that's not working as I expected it. So I'm just going to go back to here. And in this case, I can actually press on a Windows computer, if that is, so I can press Control V on a Mac, it'll be a Command V. So I press Control V, it pastes that content into there. So immediately you can see the problem. You can see the copy that I pasted in here looks completely different to what's on the left-hand side. Uh, and the reason for that is that it's picked up some, but not all. I'm not sure why it does this or what copy it, uh, or so what properties it decides. Picked up some of the properties from here and pasted them into here. So if I look at this content here and I look at my text, so I've got all these extra style information, the style equals MSO element, etc., uh, background equals whatever that is. Uh, so this is what's messing up our style. So how do we get around this? Uh, I'm just going to delete all of that. Now, unfortunately, there is no direct way to copy and paste from a website uh, or a Word document or whatever uh, other document that has styling in it uh, and paste that into a WordPress editor and expect it to be uh, the same as the rest of your website. So what we have to do is we have to paste it in plain text so we get rid of all of that styling information uh, and then we have to apply our headers and uh, colors etc from our from our theme. So there's a couple of quirks unfortunately with uh, with Elementor where if I go uh, to my text editor on the left hand side here editing that text uh, text editor box and let's say I want to paste this text uh, so I will to uh, go to my text view and I will right click and I get paste as text uh, or I can just press control V on my keyboard which didn't work let me just go back and copy that again so control C it did work it just didn't look like it did control V here's the problem with Elementor so I've pop copied this text and pasted it into the text box and I've got all these extra new lines which would normally represent a new line in WordPress. What I've ended up with is one long paragraph with no new lines. If I click in there, it looks right. Click somewhere else, and it looks wrong again. 
So there's something weird going on with the Elementor uh, text editor uh, when you paste it into this text box. So instead of doing that, what I've found actually works is if you go to the Visual tab, uh, you show your toolbars by clicking on this toggle toolbar button, and there's a button here that says paste this plain text. And I've just enabled it now. If you haven't clicked on this enable before, it'll come up with a little warning, and it'll tell you that it's going to paste everything into here as plain text until you turn that off. So I'm just going to go into here, and I'm going to press Control v again, and I'm going to paste into there, and this time, you see it all works correctly. So I've got my text with all the new lines in there. And why that does that differently to pasting into this text box here, I can't tell you. It's just uh, one of those things, unfortunately. Uh, so now we have to make this side look like that side. So we know this here is a heading one, uh, heading two, oh, that's heading one, that's a heading two, heading two. So if we go back here, there's a number of ways again you can do this, but I like the direct editor here because you can just select the text, select that as a heading one. Now, here's another little quote. If I select this and make that a heading one, it's going to work okay here. But if I select it over here, for example, and make that a heading two, it's made both of those heading two because there's no new line in between, which is just bizarre. So, oops, I've just done it at all. So, if you want a, um, a heading or, or styles to lines, first thing you do is delete that, press enter, press, go to the end of that, press delete, press enter again. So, you've got new lines in between them. And then we change that to a uh, heading one, this to a heading two, and that to a heading three. I think that was a one up there. Okay, starting to look the same. Now this looks the same as that, so we don't need to do anything. This this um, personal identifying information. You can see there that's a heading two, so you want to select that. Go through heading two. Select that. Oops. So I won't get through the whole document, but you can see now this right hand side looks like the left hand side, so it's going to look like the rest of our website. So I get this from people all the time where they either create their content in Word or uh, you know pages or, or whatever word editor that well, sorry uh, document editor that they use um, to to create the content and then expect to be able to just copy and paste that straight into their WordPress website. It just does not work properly. Unfortunately, you have to do some manual work with that. Uh, so uh, this is my way around doing it. And just to reiterate. Uh, pasting plain text into this box here with uh, Elementor does not work properly with the current version of Elementor uh, as of as the uh, time I created this video. But if you go into the visual editor, go into the advanced tools and put places, uh, tame, paste as plain text on, um, then uh, you can paste into there and it does work correctly. You can apply your headings and your, you know, your links and all that sort of stuff. Um, that you would have lost when you pasted this plain text. Uh, so not ideal. Uh, it's certainly a lot easier than having to retype all this content, but there is some manual uh, stuff you need to do to make it look like the rest of your website. Otherwise, it's going to look very inconsistent uh, because the copy is going to be affected by where you uh, copied it from. So. So that's it. So I hope that makes sense and um, I hope that it makes your life a bit easier with copying and pasting. Thank you. WP Get. Get found. Real people, real solutions. Call us on 07 3708 1021. Visit us at www.wpget.net.